This salam competition is going to be between brothers and sisters, boys and girls. Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> Looks like the girls are going to win. We didn't even do the competition yet. All right, I need, I need a, a young, one young brother and one young sister who are going to represent your entire gender. It's a lot of pressure. Okay, for brother, all right, I got you right there. You, yeah, you. Come on stage. From the, come on stage. I need a sister, young sister. You're not a sister. I uh, need a young sister. Uh, okay, you, right here, come. Okay, come on stage. You're, you're representing your entire gender. No pressure, just in front of um, five, 10,000 people. No pressure, okay? All right, so do you guys need instructions on a salam competition? Okay, you need instructions, mashallah. We have uh, PhD candidates over here, mashallah. Okay, salam competition goes like this. We're gonna say the salam and you're gonna give us a response, okay? Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And you guys are going to say? We need to pass out instructions. Okay, all right. The reason why I have you here is because you're gonna cheer them on, okay? You're going to say the salam for the brothers, and they're going to respond to you. So the louder you say it, the louder they're going to say it back to you, okay? And you too, all right? No pressure. And the winner, the winner gets a sneaker. A sneaker? Yeah. I'll fight for it. Yeah. She says she'll fight for a sneaker. <laughs> That's the spirit of a Muslim, mashallah. All right. All right. Uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna let the brothers go first because I think they're gonna lose. <laughs> what? Yes, you're gonna you're gonna yell salam alaikum as loud as you can, and the sister will respond to you. But you're gonna go first. What's your name? Mahdi, brother Mahdi, come here. All right, you ready? Okay, you guys ready for brother Mahdi? Brothers, you ready? You're gonna say it loud. All right. Yep. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, what's your name? Manal. Sister Manal. Sister, you guys going to support Sister Manal or what? All right, Sister Manal, here you go. Assalamu alaikum! <laughs> Allahu Akbar! All right, let me get to the cameraman. Who's the winner? She, he said the sisters! Allahu Akbar! All right, and for your grand prize, here's your sneaker. Yes! Why do you look so disappointed? All right, Jazakallah khair. And here you go, you get something too. You get a little M&M. &M. All right, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, welcome. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be a Muslim. If you ever see me walking around, I walk with a smile on my face. People think I'm crazy because I don't have a Bluetooth and I'm just smiling. But that's because I'm Muslim. Alhamdulillah. See me skipping around, clapping my hands. That's because I'm Muslim. Alhamdulillah. I'm very happy to see all the Muslims here. Um, I am Desi. I am from Pakistan. So there's a certain way we do a greeting. It's incorrect. You know, instead of saying Assalamu Alaikum, we say Assalamu Alaikum, right? It means the same thing. For my Arab brothers, it means the same thing, okay? But I love the Arab brothers. I love them because when they greet you, there's no formality. It's not like Assalamu Alaikum. No, it's like Assalamu Alaikum, and then they give you a hug, and they go for this kiss. And as a Daisy, it's the most awkward thing because I don't know how to do it, right? The last Arab brother who tried to kiss me, I almost kissed his nose. Because I didn't know, should I go right or left? So I ended up going the same way he's going, and here I was touching his nose. It was disgusting. So I don't do that uh, Arab kiss anymore. I'm sorry, brothers. Don't be offended. Brother Moa, first of all, I want to say I'm a big fan. Um, I don't know if you know, but for the past few years, um, I've been doing spoken word poetry on stage. Really? Alhamdulillah. Right? Anybody remembers? No? Okay, that means it wasn't good. 
<laughs> but I've been practicing, um, and I've been revising, and I have one. Okay, let me hear you. Bismillah. All right. Bismillah. You guys ready? Well, I'm not ready. Let me get ready. This better be good, by the way. Everybody's watching you. All right. Okay, go I think ahead. I'm ready now. Bismillah. Okay. My name is Asim Khan. I am Patan from Karachi, Pakistan. I like to eat biryani and naan. You're not enjoying? Yeah, don't, don't quit your day job, whatever it is. <laughs> That's okay. Very good. I try to be a good Muslim. My mama said, go to masjid, give azan. My baba said, make dua, read Quran. Allah bless me with wife and I become a man. I have one daughter, I have one son. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. As Muslims, we like to have fun. When my kids do poo poo like chicken, I run. Takbir! You just you give it takbir for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Brother Buna was going off for your feedback. So he saw your feedback and it was energizing him. He's looking at the youth and they were screaming. That means he's doing a good job. All right. Uh, but he looked at the uncles and aunties and he was a little confused. He couldn't understand the feedback. So I'm here to explain to Brother Mood, Buna what this feedback was. All right. So if you heard the Arab sisters make this strange sound, okay? That means you're doing great, Brother Buna. It goes a little something. I'm going to try this. It's not easy. I don't know how they do it. All right. It takes a lot of practice. All right. Bismillah. Bismillah. If you hear this sound, that means you're doing great. Bismillah. Something like that. Something like Give it up. Give it up. Alhamdulillah. All right. That's very easy, right? With the arrows, mashallah, sisters, it's very easy. But with the daisies, it's a little complicated. If you're looking at the uncles and aunties, you could get a little confused because they don't make any sounds, right? Their feedback is all sign language. We have the sister right here doing sign language for us. Give it up for the sister doing sign language. But I'm going to teach this sister some sign language right now. All right, this is the daisy sign language. All right, kids, if you see your parents, then you can tell if you're doing great or you're doing terrible. All right, the worst thing they can do, that means they're like disgusted with you. And they're ashamed to be your parents. All right, if they do this. So it's very rare. Hopefully you never get this. So they make this face like they smell something really bad and then they suck their tongue. It's just it's nasty, okay? They, something like this. That's, that, that's terrible. You, you never want to get that, all right? Okay. If they give you a straight face, that means you're in trouble. Okay? They don't say anything. If they give you a thumbs up, that means you're average. They have high standards. All right? So what you really want is you want this circle. I don't know where it comes from, but if they give you this circle and they go like this, that means you're doing a good job. But if you want a really good feedback, all right? And this is very rare, right? They do the two circles. With, with the eyebrow up, and they go, wow. <laughs> that means you're doing a great job, all right? Alhamdulillah. So alhamdulillah, I got a lot of these growing up. Wow, all right? And then my non-Muslim friends, they asked me in school, they're like, man, you Muslims, you know, you, you always get good grades. Like, why is this? I was like, you don't understand the pressure. You don't understand the pressure our parents put on us. I was like, when you were growing up, your parents taught you alphabets, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Our parents, mm-mm. It was A, B, A, B, A, B. You will get only A and B. There was no C, alhamdulillah. Okay? Um, 